Mulima one, Rigade Gasha Guam, begin my coffee. Thank you, Tavanali Tuketi, presiding bishop, Bishop Okida, our host, Apostle Bishop Oihenya and your wife, Kanisa La Pefa Thika. Baba wetu wa skofu, miongozi wenzangu, wa kristo hapa thika. God is good. And all the time. Nisalimieni kwa hebu wana yesu wa sifiwe. Wana yesu wa sifiwe tena. Mimi nataka kuchukua na fazi hii. Bishop Oihenya na mke wako. Na wa kristo wa pefa thika. Kusema pongezi. Ongera. Heko. Kwa hii kazi nzuri sana mumefanyia mungu. This is a very beautiful cathedral. Na tumepewa historia vile mumejika kamua, munga ngangana. And you have been able to put up a magnificent sanctuary for the Lord. Baba asko for henya waliponi alika, tukiwa pale moya, nika kuwabia nitafika. Na nimefanya mzuri kufika kwa sababu nimeshudia kazi nzuri sana wewe umefanya ukiwa na washirika na Mungu atakubariki sana tumeelezwa ile kazi imebaki na kama hivi viongozi tumekubaliana tutakutafuta tuketi kwa sababu siku hizi tulisimamisha mambo ya harambe kanisani na sisi pia hatuwezi kosa shilingi kumi shilingi 15 shilingi 20 tutaweka mkono pia hapa kwa hii kazi ya Bwana Mimi niseme kwa sababu sitaki kusema mambo mingi. Tuko na MC wetu Ezra Kabuga tulipotesa tulikuwa na yeye jana. Kijana mzuri sana. We had a wonderful time tulikuwa tumekuja kuongea mambo ya kupigana na pombe na zile sheria zimeundwa na bunge la Kiambu. Na nimehuzunika sana kupata habari ya kwamba ameaga dunia kupitia ajali ya barabara. Nataka kusema pole kwa familia niseme pole kwa honorable members of the Kiambu County Assembly na tukipata nafasi tutapitia hapo nyumbani tuwafariji tuwae pole kupoteza kijana mdogo kama huo na ni kiongozi ningetaka pia niseme pole Reverend Lucy nasema congratulations on your ordination na tunakutakia mema katika kazi ya ijiri na kufanya kazi la Bwana na uendele kuendeleza ijiri tunasema asanti kanisa na serikali ni kitu kimoja kwa sababu we serve the same people na kwa hivyo tunataka kushukuru kanisa kwa kuendelea kutoa spiritual guidance to our people sana sana tumesaidiana sana na kanisa kwa hii pombe kwa hii vita ya kupigana na pombe haramu na mihadarati Na mimi nataka kuuliza makanisa zetu zote siendelea kutusaidia because they are the moral conscience of society. Na kwa hivyo mababa askofu kanisa letu la pefa muendelee kushirikiana na serikali kuongea na watoto wetu na kuwaelekeza kwa ile njia ambayo inafaa. Nikiongeza tu kidogo tumekuwa tukifanya kazi ya mabadiliko katika ukulima wa majani chai and to a certain extent we have succeeded to a certain extent we have not succeeded na ile shida iko katika sekta ya chai is a high cost of production na nimekuwa nikiongea sana na watu ya KGDA ya kwamba wapunguze ile gharama pa kilo tumepata bei nzuri mwaka huu lakini factories zingine zimepata bonus ziko chini Kwa sababu wa simamisi wa hiyo factory, wameweka gharama ya production kuwa juu. Di unaona factory zigine zimerithika, zigine ziko chini. Yet, the quality of the tea was the same, the price was the same. So, tuketaka kuulisa wakurugenzi wa KTDA, wajaribu, tafadhali vile niongea na nyinyi Mombasa, tupuguse the cost of production. Juu ya hayo, tunaendelea kutafuta mutan, eh, mutambo wa orthodox tea. Kwa sababu orthodox tea, garama ya, e, bei yake hiko juu by one dollar as compared to CTC. Kwa hivyo tumekuwa na mpango na factory zetu sa KTDA 
serikali za county na serikali kuu tusaidiane ya kwamba we upgrade ile production line kuu ya orthodox tea ndio tuweze kupata bei iko juu ya kusaidia wakulima kwa mambo ya kahawa tumeendelea sana na tuliita mkutano pale Meru ya coffee conference na tukakubaliana mabadiliko tutafanya katika sekta ya kahawa turudishe coffee board of kenya turudishe the coffee research institute ndio mambo yetu yaweza kutembea sawa sawa na ningetaka niseme tulitengeneza sheria na ninafurahi iko katika bunge la kitaifa niliona mheshimiwa mchomba akichangia tunataka kuuliza bunge la kitaifa tafadhali mupitishe huo mswada ndio tuweze kuithinisha hiyo sheria iweze kusaidia wakulima wa kahawa kwa ile mambo ambayo inaendelea sisi tunahusunika sana kwa sababu hii serikali tulipata kwa maombi tukiwa kwa shida mingi sana na sisi na watu ya hapa Mount Kenya na wale kutoka Rift Valley tuliungana tukapendana na tukakuwa na maelewano na tukamuunga rais mkono nikiwa naibu wake ningetaka tu kuuliza rais wetu ajaribu tu aweke nyumba yake pamoja tuweze kufanyia wananchi kazi tangu tuchaguliwe ni mwaka miwili kuna kazi mingi sana simesimama ya barabara ya maji ya stima ya mashule na kulingana na mimi hiyo ndio kitu ya maana sana hii maneno ya mipango ya kuumiza wengine na kutatisa wengine hiyo maneno ukiniuliza haina haja kwa sababu sisi tulipewa miaka tano tufanye kazi na kama iko shida kwa boma mzee mwenye boma ataketi chini na bibi zake na watoto atatue lakini tukianza kutengana i want to caution that the direction that is being taken ya kubomoa hii nyumba yetu hii nyumba ikibomoka haitarudi tena that is the truth that action people are planning wakisaidiwa na watu hawakuwa na sisi ikivuja hii boma ya UDA haitaweza rudi tena itasabaratika hapa hapa <coughs> kwetu kikuyuni kuna msemo inasemanga usipoteze inne ukifuata ngapi nane i want to ask my brother my boss president william ruto to be cautious and do the right thing let's keep our house together let us not be disruptive and let us not reintroduce the politics of betrayal president william ruto <coughs> is the greatest beneficiary of the people of mount kenya distant for betrayal our people hate betrayal and they are very unforgiving if you betray them I ask my brother president William Ruto not to be tempted to go to that direction because these people will be very unforgiving when there was an attempt to betray him the people of this region said no we don't like betrayal we don't entertain betrayal and for that reason the people of this region stood with him to a man to express their displeasure at betrayal if the people of this region feel betrayed as they will if we go into that direction these people will be very unforgiving that's just my advice it doesn't have to be taken i've been around for a long time mimi nimekuwa hapo wakati ya moi nimekuwa hapo wakati ya kebake nimekuwa hapo wakati ya uhuru sasa niko hapo mimi najua mambo mawili matatu hii watu ya mlima kenya mimi nawaelewa sana kisaliti watu uhusiano yako na hawa itafika mwisho and they cannot be salvaged i still think there is room for the president to put his house in order talk to everybody and let us get back to work and serve the people of kenya execute the mandate that they gave us we give very many promises we need to keep those promises and it's important that we keep those promises the other day i asked the president to keep one promise to the people of kenya that requires no funding requires no imf requires no world bank he promised the people of kenya 
that under his watch, his deputy will never be humiliated. Didn't he promise? We're asking him to keep that promise. If he can't keep that one promise, nobody can trust him to keep any other promise. So it's up to him. It's up to him. Sisi tuko pale, sisi ni watu wa mungu. And for me, I'm comforted by the fact that when things were very difficult for President William Ruto, and he was at a lot of attack, a lot of schemes, a lot of intimidation, a lot of humiliation, a lot of harassment. Mungu alisimama na ee. Huyo huyo mungu alisimama na Rais William Ruto. Hakuna bahali ya meenda. Siyako tu. That is my comfort. Ya kuamba huyo mungu, hakuna bahali ya meenda. He's still there. So let us see how things unfold. Let us see how things unfold, but we have a country to run. We need to be careful so that we don't create a criminal in this country. And I want to advise that we came together with our brothers from the Rift Valley to support President William Ruto, and we agreed. Let us not create a situation where these communities never trust each other in future. I think we need to be careful. We need to be careful. We need to walk the path and the journey that we started. We want to support the president to succeed. We are more than ready so that we serve the people of Kenya for the time that God has given us a chance through the people of Kenya. And in my view, that is the right thing to do. Any attempt to disrupt that mandate will have serious implications in our politics. And that is not healthy for the country. It's not healthy for our government. And it is not healthy for our leadership. So let us be careful. Let us be cautious. Let us be reasonable. And let us do the right thing by respecting the will of the people. The people of Kenya, through a direct vote, chose a president and a deputy give the people of Kenya that respect. Let us not try to carry out their mandate and take it upon ourselves to interfere with the will of the people. Mimi sitaki nisidishe kutoka hapo. Nimeshukuru sana Baba Askofu tutakutafuta diyo tujue vile tutasaidia. We want to thank you, Presiding Bishop, for the very strong sermon as it has been well articulated here. It is very relevant to the situation we are in, when everybody is feeling low. That barely two years after forming government, we are in a situation that we should never be. But I believe that God is in control, and whatever happens, Iko Mungu Asante ni sana, Mungu Thank you very much.